Well, yesterday we was uh, talking about super heat, and uh, I decided today to go with a sub cooling. Um, let's see how this thing work out over here. How you see over here, we got the red color, so meaning the high side gauge on this charge. And uh, again, we got a uh, temperature scale, temperature for each different refrigerant. We still got the R12 over here, 502 on the bottom, and uh, R22. Again, we're going to be working with this scale over here, R22. Okay. And basically, when. Uh, well, I'm not gonna wanna get you confused there. Um, you know, this, yeah. Let's talk about basic stuff, okay? I don't wanna get real deep into stuff and get people confused, uh, okay. Now, let's say you walk into a job and uh, this, the black one, you read PSI, pressure. Pressure is pressure. Pressure, whatever it is, pressure is pressure. Nothing changed there. Okay, you walk into a job and you see uh, 225. This needle over here should be over here. Let's say 225. Now, if you look straight down and the scale for the R22, you see that 225 PSI is going to give you temperature to 110 okay 110 degrees Fahrenheit okay at that pressure the temperature should be 100 110 degrees Fahrenheit what next you're gonna have to go and put your thermometer instead in the suction line like with the superheat, no. You wanna go to this charging line. That's that is a small tank line coming out of the compressor. I mean the condenser, not out of the compressor, outside of the condenser. You, know, you get the suction line going to the house and the other skinny line, this charge line, going to the house. So you're gonna put the thermometer there, okay? And a discharge line, which is will be that skinny line there. Okay, your temperature should be around 90. It could be 90. So depending on the day, hot day, or it could be 100. It could be 110. You got that's why you have to check. Let's say you you go there, you you hook up everything up. You want to find out so cooling. And you put the thermometer and this and uh discharge line and you get a reading of a hundred degrees you know that line is going to be hot no matter what a little bit hot okay so let's say it's a hundred degree so now you got your gauges all set up my cheating is running and be running like for five minutes you testing it and you're watching your gauge and you're watching over here something's going on over here your pressure go, went up to 225 and you're watching that the temperature of the R22 is 110 and this charge line you got a 100 degree Fahrenheit so how to get a sub cooling or how to find out how much so cooling you got? You take this number minus with the temperature of the discharge line, which I said before it was 100 degrees. So you get in 10 degree sub cooling. Okay, so that will be the reading for that 10 degree sub cooling. Okay, and uh that's it okay and uh yeah as simple as that guy
for so cool and you use this color gauge over here and your manifold. I so said when you're going to be working on it, okay?